So why do I think Terra Invicta is a great forex strategy simulation if I think it has the worst demo? Well, the answer is simple and the explanation is a bit long-winded. It's because I played the demo, tried out the game and ended up loving it despite the unfinished tutorial, some questionable UI choices, a horrible case of a horizontal game slice, I will explain that in a moment, and a totally player-unfriendly space combat system. There are more positive and negative minor things, but I will mention them as I go through the main points. And please, don't misunderstand me, this is a wishlist keeper game, but also a prime example of how to push away your potential audience. If you didn't know, my name is Peter and I have been following Terra Invicta's development for a while, even featuring it in my upcoming strategy game list videos linked up here and down in the description. It is a game concept I am familiar with and have enjoyed in many other games over the years. This promising game is being made by modders of the modern XCOM games behind the developer name Pavonis Interactive. Now to be open and transparent, I do admire and respect their publisher Hooded Horse, who I am on totally friendly terms with and who are really trying to help the little guys and girls in the developers like Pavonis Interactive. But that won't stop me from going native on this terrible demo, I might just tie up my language and keep the curses off screen. So with that out of the way, let us begin. Like most major 4x games, Terra Invicta gives you a huge map to play with and here you have not just planet Earth and its nations, but also the whole of the solar system. And this is where we come to the first major issue of this demo, the scope of it. The full game has incredible scope and depth, slowly conquering from the shadows, building up and managing not just the whole planet, but an entire solar system with your chosen faction. But can you really do this during the demo? Can you experience the thrill of so much power, responsibility and control? Well, technically yes and no, and more importantly, realistically, definitely no. This demo is part of Steam's Next Fest, battling for players' precious time during a single week against hundreds of other games. So while the option to enjoy the scope of this game is there, it is not realistic to expect players to sink so much of their limited time into this one game demo. And add on top of that the warning you get when starting a demo game that you are limited to 7 in-game years of playtime. But how does a new player even know what 7 in-game years mean? It is meaningless to someone who has started the game for the first time in their life. If it said about 10 hours of real time on maximum speed, that would be comprehensible. If it said until the first major gameplay turning point, that would be vague but still gives some notion of where it ends and what you can expect. This is where the horizontal gameplay slice I mentioned comes into play. Now if you are wondering what a horizontal gameplay slice is, that is when you try a game out starting from its very beginning like you do here in Terra Invicta with the ability to see and to some extent try out all the gameplay aspects. In this game those are counselors missions, taking control over Earth's nations one at a time, interactions with other factions, researching technology, spying, resource management, but also politics, ground wars, nuclear strikes, space station and ship construction and combat in space. The issue is that because of the mentioned scope and the horizontal nature of this demo, you cannot reach those, the most fun and challenging parts of gameplay. Yes, you can try out the skirmish mode with space combat limited to 3 ships, but this is where you're met with another two huge issues, lack of a proper tutorial and poor user interface design. What might look like a minor detail here is monumentally important because instead of having a huge and obvious indicator for the UI elements the game is trying to explain to you, we have a minimalistic, almost transparent and contrast devoid indicator which I must admit took me a full minute to even notice. Instead of learning the ropes of a deep, engaging and complex tactical system of space combat with Newtonian physics, you're stuck trying to figure out what the tutorial is even trying to tell you because you cannot notice a simple indicator. This is how you turn off all but the most hardcore and interested players. They run out of steam and good faith towards your game because you aren't making it easy for them to even learn it. 
What should have been a simple course correction using something like Homeworld system of moving in 3D with two clicks and one Y-axis key control, the developers here chose a Waypoint nav system which takes four keyboard combinations to just set a ship's course. I mean, I want to learn to play this game, I want to have fun playing it, but instead of doing that, I get stuck, annoyed and ultimately displeased with the game. And I am not even mimicking your average player who was browsing the demos and decided to give Terra Invicta a chance. I am the guy who specifically installed this demo to check it out and give it a great presentation. <sighs> Back at the main map, another small but utterly important point is again the user interface design. I want to sort countries by how much my faction is welcome there? Nope, I cannot do that. I have to go to a convoluted system of designations to filter countries. And why did I even want to find out which countries are sympathetic to my faction? Because I wanted to easily find where I have a high chance of success in missions with my counselors. I can also try and locate these high success rates by choosing a mission type and traveling the globe looking for tiny numbers with percentages written on huge maps of all these countries. Instead of having huge font numbers right there for me to see, I have to scan the map every time I want to choose a mission location. You might think I'm just looking for things to bite on at this point, but it's not what I want to talk about, it's what I have to talk about. This is really important to get across to these and all similar developers. A demo is your potential player's first real interaction with your game. It has to be accessible, easy to learn and understand. It is to show the player what to look forward to, not what he has to grind. Am I done? Yes, I am done. Terra Invicta has a great idea. It has a proper setting, a well-developed gameplay loop which builds on your own actions, sets you on a journey into its alien infested story, gives you lots of choices and lets you fall down or rise up on the success or failure of those choices. Every layer of its gameplay is interconnected and woven into all the others in a proper forex simulation manner. This is why it is such a shame it came out with this kind of a demo, which instead of giving a really sweet and tasty morsel to players to get hooked on and show them how much fun they can have with all the game's features, leaves a bitter aftertaste even after a tiny lick. I truly hope everyone watching this will give the game a second or even a third chance in the future because I can see you won't regret it as the potential is there. It just wasn't packaged in the correct box. Thank you for watching and listening to my mini rant about enjoying a game which tried its best not to let me do it.